What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Let's get this fishbowl taken care of. Let's go. We are on our way to the tent shop. Get rid of this fishbowl effect that we got going on here. It gets way too hot in the summer. Also, I don't like people just like looking at my car and staring at me. So we're gonna go, uh, I believe 5% on the ramp. The rear glass on the 4Runner stained at like about 20%, I believe, 17 to 20%, whatever it is. And you know, a lot of folks will just tint the fronts to match, but I, I can't do that. So I end up doing on the 4Runner, I put 15% all the way around with a 5% brow, which is nice. It definitely helps, but in the summertime, it seems like a little bit too light, but at night, it's just about right. However, we're gonna go a little bit darker on the ramp because the windows are bigger. And uh, so we're gonna do 5% all the way around with a 5% brow. I really actually wanna get the windshield tinted on this truck, cut down on glare, and so that I always don't have to wear sunglasses. I might probably come back to the tent shop and do maybe 50%. I see a lot of people do 35 and 20. 20 seems a little bit too dark on the windshield, especially driving at night. And I was reading some comments on the forums. People were saying that, uh, you know, 20% on the windshield, it's a little bit sketchy at night when it's raining. Probably a little bit too dark, I would say. We're gonna see how the 5% does. Definitely give me what I'm looking for, and then I think I might come back and do the windshield at 50%, I believe is a good tint percentage on the windshield where it's, it's tinted. You can kind of see that it's tinted, but it's not too dark, especially since I'm doing 5% on the sides. One thing I learned about tint is always go darker. Whatever you think you wanna do, always go darker, always, because I remember when I first moved to Arkansas from Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania has very strict tent laws. And so basically on a car in Pennsylvania, you, the darkest you can do is 70%. On a truck or an SUV, you could actually do as, I think it's 5% behind the B pillar. And then the front two windows, I think are like 70%. So on my Jeep, when I lived in Pennsylvania, I went 5% on the back and then I did 15 on the front, which was great. Uh, didn't have any issue. On my Ultima in Pennsylvania, I went 40%. And I live next to a cop and he's like, you know, your windows aren't supposed to be that dark. I'm like, yeah, but they're really not that dark, but they are, they were illegal. And, and I have learned in Northern states, they're more, I guess, ticket hungry on tent than in Southern states. I've been actually seeing a lot more people with their windshield tinted in Arkansas here lately. Anyway, guys, enough talking. Let's go in and tell them that we're here. We're early. Get this thing brought in for him and get this thing knocked out and we'll see uh we'll see how it goes that's the reason why they call it the fishbowl you can see right through it obviously there's no tin on this and then this is stained i guess at maybe what 20 percent. so they're doing five all around just talk to the gentleman they're doing five all around and then the brow five i'll catch up with you when he's done getting this knocked out shouldn't take too long these guys normally have me in and out within an hour so let's go all right guys just pulled out of the tent shop i'll give you guys a walk around when we get home but we were there for literally an hour on a dot they had me in an out old tent with the brow and they used 3m tents no fading or anything like that well anyway guys the battery's gonna die here in a second i'm gonna catch you when we get home All right, guys, as you guys can see from the B-roll, got the Ram tinted. I will say this, I am glad I went with the 5%. I drove my wife's 4Runner yesterday and that's tinted at 15% all around. Definitely could tell the difference when the sun was coming through when I was driving home, I'm like, man, it's bright in here. So to me, it's definitely not a day driving this thing and the wife's 4Runner. Definitely happy I went with the 5%, especially since it has the bigger windows. Makes world of a difference. I think I saw, I think like five people today or last couple of days, their windshields tinted. So I'm like, hmm, I'm still tossing that idea back and forth. So drop a comment below. Have you guys tinted your front windshield? And if you have, what percent is it at? I'm looking at either doing a 50% or 35%. I think a 20% from what I've read on some of the forums is a little bit too dark in, in rainy conditions. And we drive our vehicles a lot through all conditions. And so my wife might be driving this and so I don't want her to be like squinting when it's, you know, raining in the tents at 20% on the windshield. That's probably, you know, for me, it might be okay, but for her, it might not be as safe. So gotta think of everybody. But 
Again, guys, if you got your windshield tinted, drop a comment below what percent you have done uh, and let me know how, uh, if you like it. As you can see, you can still see through the front of the truck. It's not too dark, but I just don't want to be harassed or pulled over for that and whatever. But this is a big ass windshield, guys. I feel like it's calling my name for at least 50%. Maybe 35, but at least 50. So we'll see. Keep watching <laughs> and you'll see what, what I do because if, of course, if I get the windshield tinted, another video. If you're new to the channel because of the Ram, welcome. If you're an OG, you already know what it is. Again, peep some of the merch, the Hangar PA merch. Got the uh, pay to get dirty on hoodie keeping me warm had to throw the north face on on top of this because it's a little chilly out here today of course it takes five million cuts to get this video correct oh let me show you this guys let me show you this look what I, <laughs> look what i got i love this thing if i don't use it i'm not gonna sell i'm not gonna put it on my site i don't that's not how we do merch but this thing comes in so handy because then you can just put your key in your pocket let the jet tank hang out like so you see it and then you just grab it and you're good to go so I, i've been i've been rocking this since day one, since I got the Ram, I was so happy. When they gave me the keys, I threw that on right away. It had to go on. There ain't, I mean, there's, there's nothing else more to say. I have to rock my own merch, my own brand. But anyway, guys, that's just another day hanging with your boy, PA. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.